All right, my job in these videos is to show you things that the craftsmen do that some of the guys that doesn't doesn't don't have as much experience don't do. This is a picture of an old building where we're going to install cedar siding. Now, this old building may have settled over time. This corner here may be an inch or two lower than the other corners on the foundation. This corner on the wall may have come out of plumb due to the building settling over time. And the old timers know that you don't rely on the last guy. In other words, you don't rely on the existing sight lines to, to use to base your siding install on. As you can see, this corner shows you that the inside left sight line on the corner is dead plumb. And the same, you can barely see it, but the inside corner on the right is dead plumb. The insides of these corners are what the naked eye will catch. Now, an old timers will strike their own plumb line on the, the wall before you install. I'm showing it over the wall, but we've stricken our own plumb line to the left of the corner so that we can measure from the bottom and the top to achieve an exact plumb for that left edge of the trim because that's the line of sight that the eye will catch. On the right of that, that corner piece that's dead plumb, over to the middle of the corner is where you can kind of adjust for fudge factor. You can cut a piece that's more of a diagonal shape. It won't be catchable to the naked eye if that corner's out of plumb a little bit. The naked eye will catch the edge piece on the left there. Now this piece of building here, it shows us dead level and dead plumb. It also shows those little cuts between the window and the trim. Once you establish your own level lines and your own plumb lines, every single cut you make from that point on becomes easier. All your 90 degree angles will line up. Now the reason we strike our own dead level line across the entire building is because that corner that may be an inch lower. So we strike our dead level line say two feet up from the ground. And so from the arrow down, everything on the line of, on the line of sight is going to be dead level. And from the arrow up, it's going to be dead level. And now let's say that last course of siding has dropped an inch. We can start a piece that kind of gradually shoots out to an inch thick and it will not be catchable to the naked eye. What will be noticeable to the naked eye is that the inside and outside edges of the window trim and the corner trim line up dead plumb and that the siding is installed dead level. At the end of the day, you establish your own dead plumb, dead level lines and take the time to do it exactly right So, because each thing you do in preparation makes the next step easier. The old timer tips and tricks series is this is not an installation. This is a, hey man, this is what the old timers do that you don't know about that can save you tons of time, money, and headache. But our man, Dennis Beecham, our master craftsman, gave us a killer tip for dead level. There's a thing called a water level. It's a little tube. It's about, you know, not quite as big around as my pinky. It's 50 feet long and it has no air, there's air on each side, but no bubbles. So it's got about six inches on each side. And as they take that around the building, if a guy holds the water, hits this mark, his other partner can take it around anywhere on the building. And when that thing levels out, it will be dead level. And he can take it all the way around the building and it will always be dead level. Even a laser transom, when you do the lane of sight, you'll have to move it at least once and you might miss off dead level, but water seeks its own level every time. Dennis told us this great story about the pyramids of Egypt. When they dug the footer for the pyramids of Egypt, they flooded the Nile and let a bunch of water in there and let it settle. And when the water settled, they marked it at dead level and drained the water out. And so when they started, they had a mark of dead level to start with. And the pyramids are as dead level today as they were 4,600 years ago when they were built. And on plumb, the Dennis has what he calls a plumb bulb. So it's a long string with a big old piece of heavy metal and a point on the end. And when it reaches, stop swinging it, gravity causes it to stop at dead plumb every time. Now, if you, unless you were born in the 20s, sorry, Dennis. Unless you're born in the 20s, you probably don't have a plumb bulb, but every chalk line that's ever been invented is shaped like this so that it can be a plumb bulb when it settles and you can snap that chalk line at dead plumb. So along with knowing to set dead plumb and dead level, the old timers also know how to check laser lights and technology with the world's oldest technology, water and gravity. 
that my friends dead level dead plum we're gonna hit you next with the next video series and chris buffalo signing out